What's up guys, aka Simon Minimouse Mouse here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play PS2 games on any PC. Now pretty much the entire tutorial is in the description, all the links are available there, but this is just to show you like a visual of what you need to do. So what PCX, PCSX2 is, is it's pretty much an emulator to play PS2 ISOs on your PC. Now I do recommend that you have an i5 or an i7 processor, uh, preferably quad core, and anything later than that, so the games could run a little smooth. Now what I found is all the games work, and I'm currently on an i7 quad core processor, but games like Jack and Daxter and you know just high intensity graphic games run a little laggy, but it just might be my computer. Uh, Rise to Honor runs quite well, but let's get to the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is download WinRAR. Now most of you guys probably have this. It's just an extraction tool. It's like WinZip. It will just extract the files that you download. So what you want here, just choose your language, and it's quite straightforward. You can just download it from here. Once you've gotten that installed, you want to head over to this link and again these are all in the description below so this video is not really necessary it's just to show you what you need to do so this link right here has the emulator file what you want to do is download this and save it it'll give you a setup file somewhere so after you've done those you want to go to the third link this is where you're going to get the BIOS. It's going to help you run the software itself. And you can download it right here. Uh, that should be pretty quick. Now, once you've got in those two files, including the WinZip, or sorry, WinRAR, you're going to see the files here. The first one is setup. Setup pretty much, it'll install the software. And you'll get this PS2 BIOS in a WinRAR file as well. What you want to do with that is just right click and extract and it should turn into a folder like this right here. So once you have the PS2 BIOS in a folder and once you've run this setup and got in this icon right here, you want to open this. And this is the actual application for the PS2 emulator. So from here, since I've already done it, it's going to ask you where the BIOS is located. And where it's located is where this file is. So just browse to that file and click it. And then it should be running like so. Okay, so once you've gotten all of that done, the main part is to get the games now. Now I don't promote the use of ISOs. I do... I uh, recommend that you actually have a hard copy of the game that you're trying to emulate so you don't get into any legal issues. So where I get the ROMs are at this link. This is the fourth link below. And all the games are available here. So let's just say I want Grand Theft Auto. So pretty straightforward. You could download the file, um, and it'll take a while. And after you've downloaded it, it'll be like a WinRAR file. So you're gonna have to unzip that into this type of file. It will just come into a folder, and it's pretty straightforward from there. Just open the application again, and when you want to play a game, just click. Um, Where's it at? Yeah, C D V D ISO selector and pretty much browse to the folder. So let's say I've downloaded Rise to Honor, I've unzipped it, it turned into a folder like this. Double click and click once, click open. And then do system. Boot in full means that it's gonna run at you know the regular speed. 
boot fast is like it's gonna run a little bit faster. So let's do full. Now it's gonna show laggy on this video because I'm using a screen recorder, but on the actual computer it's not gonna be like that. And another good thing about this is you could connect the PS3 controller with your USB and configure the controller through this, which is pretty cool. Now again, it's laggy on this video because I'm using a screen recorder, but the way I see it is full speed. Without the screen recorder, this game runs at about 60 frames per second, so there's no lag in Rise to Honor. It's running perfectly. The sound works perfectly on this game. And uh, I connect my PS3 controller to my computer with the USB, route the uh, buttons to how you want them, and you just play. Okay. Alright, guys, so thanks for watching. Again, there's a text tutorial below. All of the links are available below. So if this video doesn't help, I'm pretty sure the description will help. Alright, thanks for watching.